Hello guys, hello guys. Uh, Parmini, uh, how are you? Ninja. Uh, well, today is Sunday, so we're going to have um analysis of few charts. You know, we like Vic seventy five on this channel. We like Nasdaq, and sometimes we also do US thirty. So if you are new here, make sure that you subscribe. Like if you like this style of trading where you make your decisions just based on pure price action. Because here, what I teach, basically, I teach uh, price action concepts. And then I do market analysis using those ones. Even in the mentorship that I have, that's what I teach. Because I don't want you to rely on indicators. At the same time, I don't want you to rely on me for your trading. That's why I don't have a signal group. You must strive for, for independence. That's why I decided that... I would rather teach than to have people coming to me and then, uh, you know, depending on my signals. No, that's because the day I decide that I'm no longer trading, what's going to happen to you? You see? So I do have a mentorship and, you know, we, we, we have classes going on and then others going and then there are others that are starting soon. So if you are interested, you will just text me and then you can join in the with the group of this month, the month of October. So let's get started. So... Normally, or all the time, you know, when I do my analysis on this channel, we always start with the highest time frames so that we check or how it's with the ways the price, where is the price in, with the, in relation to what the bigger picture, right? When you make our decisions, if you still remember this one, uh, is this that I didn't expect it to go so, so like deeper like that. But when it came here, for those that still remember, we did call for what? Uh, searching for trades to go long to at least the next opposite structure right and if you look at the white candlestick this one here the price did that it tested the support that we have here it went up to the nearest structure which is the resistance and then from there i was thinking maybe it will continue to at least go up deeper like that but when i saw it coming back again when i saw it coming back it's just that this is a monthly chart when we were on a different time frame on a different time frame even here we could see that now nah, structure seems like it's gonna struggle to push to the other side so that's when we're like now nah, maybe this is where it's gonna go back again but still we were not remember we don't trade against uh things like uh, support or resistance or a trend line we do not predict that they are going to be broken which is why when you trade you don't have to involve yourself in those complex uh you know you know, play out where you be like, nah, this support has to be broken, this trend line has to be taken out. No, you just trade until that structure. When the structure is hit, you just exit. Just uh, now you observe how the price is playing around there so that you can tell, you know, you'll be able to decide if whether that structure that it is forming there is suggesting that the price is going to pull back and stuff like that. You see? So you must never trade against the structure. So now when you made the previous video, I did say that as much as we are here, but this now has higher chances of what? Of being taken out. And now we're taken out. And let's go back to monthly. I'll show you what's happening there. I want you to be able to connect the dots, which is what I teach in my mentorship. It doesn't matter who has experience and who is still new to trading. When you come to my mentorship, I will teach you from the basics, build up from that until you are able to look at the chart the same way that I do. Because if you just come and... I cater for everyone but by the time you are done everyone will be able to have the same view of the market because of what you are taking the same course all right let's get started so this is how the structure currently looks like on monthly so on monthly if the structure looks like this it means uh, yes we did break that and then the next now the next opposite structure has been hit and it's very fresh which is the monthly support the price currently is inside a monthly support and in terms of because remember you need to know where your support is at and where your resistance is at right so now the resistance you can say it starts from here and then you can cover the entire can candlestick like that it looks too big i understand but it is what it is that's where the price was yes the price was moving down but there was something happening there the bulls tried to come in there was sort of distribution if i can put it like that so the bulls i mean the bears were pushing down the bulls tried to overcome that but they failed 
the bear still continues pushing to the downside. That's why we have to say something is happening here. That's why when the price hits that, you need to understand that the opposite structure has been hit. You need to stay out because the price can still uh, do something like this. Like that. We are not saying that's going to happen. I'm just saying to you, when you are trading, once the price hits the next opposite structure, just stay out. Take your profit. You can maybe, if you've got more than one trade, you can just say maybe with this one trade, I'm going to leave it running. I lock in some profit. I just want to see just in case that structure is violated, then I still have a trade running. But you cannot play like that if you only have one trade running. If you only opened one trade, once the structure, I mean the price hits the next opposite structure, just just exit. Just the exit. Take your profit. You are happy. You made more than, uh, you know, you made uh, more than what you were risking. That's what is important. So now what we need to take from this uh, time frame, which is a monthly chart, the price is inside a monthly support meaning when i move to a smaller time frames and i get uh, chances to go up i'll take it because i do have a backup from monthly monthly when it is at a support we understand that the support is a zone where we find a lot of buy orders they create uh, that imbalance i mean they create that demand and then eventually it pushes the price up you see so that's why i'm saying it's it's it's, 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 it's very risky for someone to search for trades to go to the downside inside the support because inside the support that's where you find buy orders so prices from there uh, price there it has a lot higher chances of bouncing up going up again especially in this case because the support is very fresh it can be broken yes this is a probability game but because of where we are currently there's higher chances of the price being rejected from this and going up to at least that but we'll see how the structure looks like as we're moving lower into our time frame so that's all that you need from this time frame let's do a different one slightly lower than that remember you start from the top that's why it is called a top-down approach you need to check the bigger picture drill it down narrow it down until a time frame where you're executing if there on your execution time frame the structure agrees with what you saw on the bigger picture at least you know what you are trying to do has got higher chances of working out so this is what we have now on what on a weekly chart so on weekly chart at some point if you were to analyze here because currently the price is this is here and it's around this area that's why i'm analyzing i'm just picking this spot i just want to see what's happening there because currently we are here and when i trace it to the left it's exactly around that area that's how i just decided to go for that point so at some point we had uh, when the price was there it gave us this as our bearish trend line and then from this area let's see let's just bring uh, the proper time uh, trend line so that we can see exactly where the thing was at the trend line was here all right and the day the trend line was broken it was from a move from this from here that's where the price move pushed up and broke the trend line no is it let's see which one is the lowest point we did have this is our lowest point we did have this we did have this which is lower than that one so you can even adjust your trend line and bring it from this one and then put it like that and say i'm using this drop rally drop that's my trend line so if that's my trend line then it means the trend line uh, the move that broke the trend line was initiated by this but after this before the trend line was broken we got another area there so that area probably is the one that is uh, the closest support you have on this time frame so let's put it here and say it ends there if it ends here remember i'm using this it ends there you look at the current price action it was looks like the price went lower than it so it means that can't be your nearest support now in this case the nearest support has to be at the lowest point the point that initiated the whole move to the upside and eventually the trend line was taken out you can even put it like that if you feel like uh, the candlestick is just one candlestick and it's small you can just cover the whole thing like that and then there is your support there is your support so on this time frame which is a weekly time frame uh, the nearest support is there we just missed it by a few pips this is our uh, weekly support and we understand the price is inside the monthly support so this weekly support 
it is fresh and it is inside the monthly support and the weekly resistance is somewhere around there and lastly the weekly bearish trend line is somewhere around there right so on this time frame if we want to make the same comment that we made on monthly we will say that the price is it seems like it's feeling the hit from those uh, buy orders from the weekly support that are also inside the monthly so that's why i'm saying when you move down and then you get a reason to go long you can go long so if this is your execution time frame the weekly it means when you're talking about the next opposite structure it will be this resistance or this trend line so that's where you take your profits and then say i don't know what's going to happen to these structures they can still reject the price even though we are coming from the monthly but trying to sell from them especially if this is an execution time frame it's not a good idea but i can use them just to exit and take my profit so uh, to conclude what we're seeing here on weekly the price is kind of bouncing from a weekly support and then the bearish trend line is still intact the resistance is still intact if you are to get trades to go long on this time frame if this is the execution time frame you will be, ta be targeting that resistance and that um uh, what do you call this let's just bring this line here you'll be targeting the resistance and also the bearish trend line so the uh, the resistance starts from there and the support this is where the support starts this is where the resistance starts so let's move to daily and see what is happening on daily so on daily this is what we have this is our structure you can see that as you're moving lower in your time frames you'll find that the structure is, starts to have a lot of candlesticks and there's a lot of swing high swing lows and stuff like that it's because of what in a week you've got one weekly candlestick but you've got five uh, daily candlesticks and then as you're moving down remember in a day you've got six uh, h4 candlesticks so that's why when you're moving down the noise it can become noisy you will have a lot of uh, zones a lot of structures and stuff like that. that's why when you're trading higher time frames it's easier for you to read the structure but when you're trading on a smaller time frames you can get a lot of false signals so let's see let's just try and zoom in so this is our daily structure on the daily structure uh, the bearish trend line we can see the structure is definitely bearish and then the bearish trend line that we have here it's around there and then remember our weekly zone is somewhere around there that's our weekly resistance right but on this time frame each time frame is going to have its own structure it's going to have its own uh trend line is going to have its own trend and stuff like that so on this time frame when you're doing an analysis you must treat each time frame as an individual time frame you must never say because i know uh one weekly the resistance is there so even on this time frame the resistance has to be there no that's it doesn't work like that because i just told you now that the structure as you're moving down there's a lot of candlesticks you'll have zones that are different you know amongst your your time frames but you just have to treat each time frame as an individual time frame and then after you've done that you try and link them together you first assess it as an individual time frame assess the other one decide on what this one is telling you what that one is telling you then just check if they match so that you can make your decisions to say oh based on what i saw on my time frames this is what is most likely gonna happen this is what is high odd from here that's how you trade so now let's look at this so we've got the bearish trend line on this daily chart and then the resistance on this time frame is there and the support is most likely going to be down there inside the weekly one but it's fine we can just uh, leave it for now because it will force us to to go all the way back until here you can take it remember this is the weekly one you can take uh, even the daily one inside there that's what i meant so we understand that the a support is down there the resistance is here the trend line is there and the structure is still bearish but we're saying based on where we are because we have hit a very strong area of support all the way from monthly weekly and even daily so that's why i'm saying the price has got higher chances even on this time frame to to sort of move up to at least this the trend line or to the resistance because we were saying what when the price is moving up once you hit your next opposite structure just stay out you don't know what's going to happen you don't have to predict that from there the price has to break it and stuff no there you are just making creating issues for yourself 
just you know you're gonna have a headache if you do that so you just target the next opposite structure but if you've got more than one tra trade like i said you can just leave a uh, one uh, position open just in case the structures are taken out and then if the structures are not taken out and price comes back it takes you out make sure that your stop loss is already above the break even so that you lock in some profit so here this is what we have the trend line is still holding and then it's almost the end of the day which means we most probably gonna have what this which is called a bullish uh, rejection this bullish rejection shows that the bulls are rejecting the price so this has got higher chances of pushing until somewhere there but you can't just go and jump in so we're just saying because all the backup we saw from weekly from monthly all of them they're saying we've got higher chances of pushing up so that's why i'm saying even on this time frame we've got higher chances of pushing up but if this is your execution time frame and then maybe you decide to say once the put the pin buy has been confirmed and then you try to take a trade until the trend line just need to make sure that you stop there but if you feel like you are still very skeptical because the price has been very bearish all the structures are still intact you can wait for the price to break the trend line and then on that pullback oh how did i do now so you wait for it to break the trend line and then you mark the support on that pullback that's what you take and then you'll be targeting remember this is what this is our weekly resistance so the weekly resistance is somewhere there so you'll be targeting that so it's either you're gonna trade until the trend line or you wait for the trend line to be taken out and then you are targeting the next structure after that so that's all that you have on daily let's now do h4 this is where most of you are going to be you know uh, this is where you're going to do uh, a lot of your what your assessment some of you can even execute here i do execute this one most of the time uh, which is my h4 and then this is remember this is a this is a daily trend line think so we drew it on daily no? yes that's a daily trend line and then now we are on h4 and i said you cannot bring your daily trend line here while you're on h4 and say this is your trend line i said when you're moving down in your time frames the structure is going to look different so you need to treat each time frame as an individual time frame then after that you can link it to the other structures so this is what we have and then we do understand this is a daily trend line all right so on this time frame where is the uh, trend line on h4 so the h4 trend line you can put it somewhere around there and say this is my h4 trend line and this is my h4 resistance and this is my the h4 trend line right so what is it that we we, we are seeing on this time frame on this time frame number one you have got bullish engulfing which is this this is the bullish engulfing right that's number one but another thing you need to keep in mind is that the structure is still bearish because we haven't broken the trend line we haven't broken the, the resistance so the structure is still bearish but you've got the bullish engulfing we are now at the trend line so if the price was to break remember what i said to you on daily if you you can wait for the trend line to be taken out if you're executing daily once it is taken out that pullback is what you take so even here if maybe the trend line is taken out and then you get something like this you can take it and then you can use this as your tp1 and then final tp day because of what you're trading h4 and this is a daily trend line when you get there you cannot just fight that trend line that belongs on daily and you're trading h4 your h4 is quite small so you can't uh, fight the bigger structure so you just need to understand that remember when we we're on monthly i told you that because of the location where we are we are on a very strong monthly support which is fresh the price has got higher chances of pushing up even here we can see the price is starting to it's been moving down very nicely but now we've got the bullish engulfing you see so this coming week we're most likely gonna go until at least today but i'm not saying you should just go to current price action and the current price and start executing no you need to make sure that you get that by trade on your execution time frame i'm just saying based on the structure from the higher time frames until where we are which is h4 we have got higher chances of pushing up to at least that daily trend line or at least let's just mark the daily uh, resistance let's bring this weekly one down here so that's where the uh, daily resistance is at this so now let's go on h4 and see where it is located okay it's quite far 
so we can say maybe remember when you're on daily when you're saying the next opposite structure is either the resistance or that uh, bearish channel whichever one is hit first they don't have to be hit at the same time the price won't necessarily go until it touches them here where they meet it can just play around until it touches one of the uh, next opposite structures you are out Sometimes it will hit the turn line first, sometimes it will hit a zone first. Whichever one is hit first, you need to exit. But we say, based on the current structure, all the way from monthly, weekly, daily, and H4, this has got higher chances of what? This is a, has got higher chances of what? Starting a new trend to the upside. Let's do one more time frame, which is what? Daily. So, it just, I mean, H1. Just because I don't do uh, things like uh what do you call this m15 does not mean you can't do them i'm just showing you the time frame because remember i said the more you're moving to smaller time frame the structure becomes you can get a lot of um false signal that's why i don't like smaller time frames but sometimes you don't have a choice because your account is still small you can apply the same approach even on a smaller time frames you will still achieve the same results so this is what remember this is the h4 trend line uh, we can bring it somewhere here so that it becomes our what you can say this is my uh, h1 trend line which is taken out and then you can mark this and say this is the support that initiated all the move that went up and broke the nearest resistance the nearest resistance right so because of that this support becomes quite something it's very strong but it is now questionable because of what the type of a candlestick that formed it but that one is something that i explain in deeper details in the mentorship but that is a support should the price maybe pull back to this remember when i said if you're still skeptical you can wait for a break of a trend line then the pull back and then that's where you take it so you can wait for that on the time frame that is the execution if h1 is the execution you can still wait for it to get there and then that's when you'll be you know pushing up with that confirmation because of what this is not a good zone and should it push up maybe it does this it means now if maybe it does this now you'll have a new zone somewhere around there you do the same thing a pullback you're still targeting the same you're still doing the same you get that confirmation and then you're out so this is basically what you can expect from this week 75 i'm not saying from the current price exchange you just go there and buy so if let's say uh you are executing h1 when the price was still down here you knew that you are inside monthly support weekly support daily support h4 support everything you've ever hit a very strong like a, a flow a very hard flow there there was no way out yes the price can break all of that but the chances of it doing that they're very slim so that's why when you started seeing this type of a rejection you're saying this is now showing that the sellers they were pushing strongly to the downside now they're allowing this to happen it's a first sign of weakness and there are different ways in which you can enter using this as your confirmation that's also something that i do what i teach and i go into details in the mentorship but when you get stuff like this you can take it as a confirmation you can go in if this is your h1 remember during the time when if you entered there uh, the next opposite structure was going to be at this resistance or at this trend line. In this case, they were hit at the same time. That's where you exit because of what? You don't know what the price was going to do when you get there. Sometimes you can say, I'm seeing, I'm trading past this and then the price reacts from it and then it goes back. So because of, you don't know what's going to happen there, once the next opposite structure is taken out, you can exit. If you had one trade running, I mean more than one trade open, it means you're going to exit your main trades there. And then the remaining ones, you take the stop loss and maybe you put it above the trend line like that. I mean, the, the entry point. So that should this break out like that, like it did, at least you still have one trade running. Should it get, go away, like like move up like that without giving you that uh, chance to enter again, at least you're still in the trade. But sometimes it will come back and bite you to just come back like that. And then it takes you out, which is why I'm saying to make sure that you play it safe. You cannot do this if you only have one trade running. If you have one trade running, always target the next opposite structure. I hope that is clear. So that's all that you can expect from VIG75. So this is basically how I teach. This is what I teach. 
i make sure that everything is as simplified as possible so if you like this style of trading and you like to learn more of this strategy i mean the strategy and even the concepts go deeper in detail so that you are able to apply them the same way that i do you can just leave a comment or you can even contact me on telegram or on whatsapp so that we can see if we can give you the uh, the spot in the mentorship the next group all right so this is what i teach this is what i teach you just practice this you understand the concepts you practice them even when i'm not there you will be able to apply this the same way that i taught you and still be able to make money you see so the problem starts when you yes you get the skill but you are becoming greedy or you have that fear of missing out you just want to see yourself in the trade so in this case remember you just have to be patient you know you are inside the support but be patient because the monthly support is very big just because you are here does not mean you should just go in and start buying because this monthly support can still be pushed to limits like that before it rejects the price so that's why when it is moving down you don't have a confirmation do not enter until the point where the, maybe the price starts showing you signs of weakness like that. That's when you can say, oh, now it looks like the bulls are rejecting the price. That's when maybe you can start planning to execute. But these different types of entries and how to, when to use which type of entry, that's what I also cover in my mentorship. But otherwise, this is what I had for you at week 75. So I will see you guys in the next video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thank you.